Living up to its name, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has a history of living among British nobility and being favored by them. The all-around beauty, regal grace, and even temperament of these toy dogs make them one of dogdom's noble men. Despite the aristocratic appearance, though, your cavy will gladly descend from the royal high horse to rest in your lap or frolic around in the backyard. Are you curious to see if you have what it takes to be one of Cavalier's royal retainers? Hop along as we cover that in today's video of Top 10 Interesting Facts about the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. But before we begin, a big thanks to all the original Cavalier owners featured in the video. None of this would have been possible without their cooperation. So please visit their Instagram pages linked in the description below. And with that said, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History Although the Cavalier we know today is a relatively new breed that was developed less than a century ago, their history runs much deeper. You see, the modern Cavalier Spaniel is actually a recreation of a version that had been lost to time. These dogs have in fact descended from the same toy Spaniels depicted in the many 16th, 17th, and 18th century paintings. The tiny dogs were a favorite among royal and noble families, and the two 17th century British monarchs, King Charles I and his son Charles II, were specially devoted to a black and tan variety of the toy spaniel in particular, which was later named in the latter's honor. At the time, though, these dogs were generally referred to as Blenheim Spaniels, in honor of the first Duke of Marlborough, who fancied the dogs himself and was victorious in the Battle of Blenheim. Sometime in the early 19th century, though, English toy dogs were bred with Asian toy breeds like the Pug, resulting in what is known in America as the English Toy Spaniel or in the UK as the King Charles Spaniel. This new style toy spaniel rapidly grew in popularity and the older version was rendered nearly extinct. However, fanciers wondered whether there still existed the old type toy spaniel immortalized in paintings hanging in the halls of English manors and a cast prize was even offered to anyone who could recreate the old Blenheim dogs. Consequently, in the 1920s, the prize was claimed and the revived breed was named Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. These dogs first made their way to the US in the 1940s, but it wasn't until 1995 that the breed finally gained the AKC recognition. Number 2. Their Physical Features Historically, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel was a lap dog and was quite small for a Spaniel, with fully grown adults comparable in size to adolescents of other, larger Spaniel breeds. Today, this small but sturdy breed stands 12 to 13 inches at the shoulder and only weighs 13 to 18 pounds. Despite not being able to compete with their Spaniel cousins in terms of size, Cavies are still among the largest toy breeds. They retain the build of a working Spaniel, just in a smaller version. The silky coat is of moderate length, while long feathering on the feet is one of breed's key characteristics. The face of the Cavalier is distinctive for its sweet, gentle expression that owes much to its large, round, dark brown eyes set well apart. The skull is slightly rounded and the muzzle full but mildly tapered. The long feathered ears, which are set high and wide on the crown, fan forward slightly to frame the face when the dog is alert. Number 3. Their Coat Colors If their history wasn't enough to give you an idea of the breed's noble descent, the names of the different colors they come in is sure to do so. Yes, the different coat colors of the Cavalier have all been given unique and quirky names. The breed has four different recognized colors – Blenheim, King Charles, Prince Charles, and Ruby. As you can see, with this breed, the names tend to get quite redundant, as is the case with noble lineages. Cavaliers that have rich chestnut markings on a pearly white background are known as Blenheim. Some Blenheim dogs have a chestnut spot in the middle of the forehead known as the Blenheim spot. However, if there are little to no white markings and the dogs are chestnut all over, they're classified as Ruby Cavaliers. Dogs with black bodies with tan highlights, particularly eyebrows, cheeks, legs and beneath the tail, were referred to as simply black and tan. However, that would be too boring of a name for these noble dogs, right? So the name King Charles was given to this color. On the other hand, Prince Charles Cavaliers are also known as Tricolor, and as that would suggest, they come with three distinct colors, black and white with tan markings. If you have come face to face with a cavy before or if you own one yourself, what color are they? Let us know in the comments below. Number 4. Cavalier King Charles vs King Charles Spaniel The English Toy Spaniel is often confused with the Cavalier, and rightfully so. In the United Kingdom, the English Toy Spaniel is called the King Charles Spaniel, while in the United States, one of the colors of the Spaniels is known as King Charles. The two breeds even share a similar history and they only diverged from each other about 100 years ago, so it can be quite difficult to distinguish between the two breeds. However, there are several major differences between the two, with the primary one being their size. The King Charles is smaller, weighing only about 9 to 15 pounds, compared to the Cavalier's 13 to 18 pounds. In addition, their facial features are also different, although that may not be apparent at first glance. 
The Cavalier's ears are set higher and its skull is flat, while the King Charles skull is domed. Finally, the muzzle length of the Cavalier tends to be longer than that of their King Charles cousin. Number 5. Their Temperament Despite their regal appearance and noble history, Cavaliers are neither proud nor boastful. The breed is highly affectionate, playful, and eager to please. They're naturally curious and love to romp around, but also enjoy simply cuddling up on a cushion or your lap. Thanks to their sweet, gentle nature, they also make excellent therapy dogs, and they're even great as lab dogs for medical patients and the elderly. These dogs are also extremely patient, making them a good choice for families with children. They're also not shy about socializing with other dogs either. These guys will adapt quickly to almost any environment, family and location, and they're suited to both city and country life. Cavies are eager to meet anyone who crosses their path, so they're not shy with strangers. Although this might pose a problem if you want your cavy to act as a watchdog. Number 6. Their Training Thanks to their eager-to-please nature, Cavaliers are usually willing to try whatever it is you'd like them to do. Couple that with their intelligence and you got yourself a dog who is both easy to train and quick to learn. However, their soft personality does mean that owners have to be careful not to yell at their dog because it is counterproductive and likely to send these sweeties into hiding. Instead, we recommend you practice positive reinforcement techniques using lots of treats and other rewards. These guys do have a tendency to chase things and might just run off, so teaching your cavy to stay even when off-leash might just be one of the first things you have to teach them. It's a good idea to socialize them early and expose them to all kinds of people, places and situations from a young age in order to have a well-rounded adult Cavalier King Charles Spaniel in your home. Number 7. Their Exercise Although Cavaliers were bred to be beloved lap dogs, they are descended from sporting dogs so they do retain a little bit of that energetic nature. These guys need around 30 minutes of daily physical activity, which isn't too bad if you compare it to some of the breed's spaniel cousins. They enjoy moderate exercise and outdoor activities like taking a brisk walk with their owner. When you are walking them though, don't forget that your cavy might just take off chasing after something that's caught their attention and might not come back when even called. So we recommend that you never let your dog off leash outside unless you're in a securely fenced area. This is why having a fenced yard or a doggy park nearby is ideal for owners. Number 8. Their Grooming the Cavalier's medium-length silky coat is fairly easy to maintain, although it does need more than regular brushing. You gotta comb or brush them three to four times a week to prevent mats and tangles. The feathered hair on the ears and legs is especially prone to tangling, so check those areas frequently for mats that need to be gently combed out. Brushing not only helps to keep the coat shiny and tangle-free, but also serves as a full-body massage that your dog is sure to enjoy. Bathe them if they're smelly or if they've rolled around in something and need cleaning. Daily brushing is important for good dental health, especially for smaller dogs who tend to be prone to dental issues. Remember to trim their nails once or twice a month and don't forget to check for sores, rashes, and signs of infection at the end of every grooming session. Number 9. Their Health When it comes to health, there are quite a few health issues that cavies are prone to. And while this certainly does not mean that your cavalier is likely to catch all or even any of them as a responsible owner, it is your duty to learn about them. One of the most common conditions in the breed is mitral valve disease, or MVD, a condition that starts with a heart murmur that becomes increasingly worse until the dog has heart failure. Heart disease in older dogs would be nothing new, but sadly cavaliers are prone to developing MVD at an early age, sometimes even as young as one or two years old. Another common condition is syringomyelia, a condition that affects the brain and spine caused by malformation of the skull, which reduces the space for the brain. Symptoms range from mild discomfort to severe pain and partial paralysis. Other conditions to look out for include epilepsy, hip and elbow dysplasia, patellar luxation, and eye problems. As with any breed, please ensure to get your dog from a reputable breeder and have all the necessary health clearances from them. Don't forget to schedule a regular visit to the vet for early detection of any condition that may develop. With proper care and lots of love, your cavy will live a happy and healthy life of about 8 to 12 years. Number 10. Their Diet a proper diet is essential to ensure that your dog is getting all the necessary nutrients in the right amount, so as to avoid being both under or overweight. Some Cavaliers are even prone to getting overweight, so owners need to watch their dog's calorie consumption and weight level. However, formulating an effective diet plan is no easy task, so please don't refrain from asking for advice from your vet or your breeder. Talking to them can get you a lot of valuable info on what to feed your dog and how much. In general, we recommend half a cup to a cup of high-quality dry food a day divided into two meals for your cavy. Don't forget that each dog is an individual and needs a diet plan formulated with factors like their age, weight, size, and activity levels. Alright guys, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts by the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. Do you already own one of these adorable toy breeds? If you do, do let us know about their unique traits in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts and in different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.